Morning church, Pastor Brandon here. I'm on the road for the next five days. So I'm gonna film a few of these back to back. So I'll be wearing the same shirt. Just wanted to point that out, not to confuse you. Um, you're gonna also hear some background noise because I'm just using an iPhone. So it'll be a little different. So stay, stay with me. We're picking up in Ephesians 3 chapter, uh, verses 14 and following. So Paul says this, for this reason, I kneel before the father from whom every family in heaven on earth derives its name. I pray out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now I wanna break that down for the next two days. The first thing I wanna say is, Paul starts in verse 14, for this reason I kneel before the Father. Uh, he's praying for the Ephesians in the church uh, because they're discouraged. He says that to them uh, in the previous pat, uh, verses. And so just like this time we're going through, the Ephesian people were going through a uh, discouraging time and their faith was being challenged. And I think that's similar for us. And so I want you to know as the church, uh, as a staff and just as an individual, we're praying for you guys. And we're praying just like Paul, that you would be encouraged. And the reason we pray that is we, uh, he goes on to say, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you. So it's the riches of Christ, the riches of being in a relationship with Christ that no matter what we go through, we have Christ as our savior and as our strength and we can lean into him during these times where things are a little bit more difficult. So my prayer for you guys is that you would have courage and be encouraged during this time as we continue to work together for unity of the body and unity of the believers and, and for our country, I pray that we might come to unity as well. I'll see you tomorrow.